Hey, this is a VR to Boyan Blue 823 for his 100 sub appreciation contest. And um, just a couple things to get out of the way. Um, the food packs, I'm a fat guy. I'm not going to be real picky here. Um, but I'd take the uh, the beef and the rice. I think it was beef, beef stroganoff and rice. I would just take two of those. And for the knives, the small uh, bushcraft knife with uh, black paracord would be my choice. And I think there were the only two decisions we had to make. And I have subbed to, uh, I was already subbed to almost everybody um, that you mentioned in your video. So I think I got all of that taken care of. Um, and I think you wanted to just talk about what we do as preppers and what we're doing to prep. And, you know, you can think about this and say you can have plenty of these band-aids, plenty of these beans, oh, yep, beans, beans, band-aids, plenty of bullets, right, 22, hard to come by. Does that make you a prepper? Because you have all of these things and a plethora, you know, and you can just have so much ammo, so many cans of food, all these first aid kits. And I'll tell you, honestly, it's not something I can really show you, but I think it's a lot of things, um, or a lot of uh, preppers oversee this, is just having a plan. Um, you know, if you can't communicate with your wife, your girlfriend, uh, you know, whoever you live with, um, and cell towers go down and there's no way to communicate. Do you know where you where you're going to meet up? Do you have a plan of action? Um, you know, I go through this with my wife because she's really not on board with all this prepping stuff. Um, and I just I quiz her all the time. Um, you know, hey, if so, such such and such happens, or I can't call you, or you can't call me, or we, where are we going to meet? What if I can't get to my house? Where are we going to meet then? Where's the second? And if we can't meet there, if there's whatever catastrophe, whatever's in, you know, we can't get there traffic, you have to get there on foot, where are we going to meet? What are we going to do? So I think having a plan um, of, of, of action is really the, one of the most important things. You can have all of these great survival items, um, all of these great uh, food storage, and but if you can't get to it, if you can't find the ones that you love... Um, in, in a type of SHTF situation, um, you know, that, that's going to be a huge stress on you and, uh, and your family members trying to just find one another. So that's my real, real recommendation, uh, is to have a plan of action. So I didn't want to show you building a fire or show my food storage and a bunch of guns and a bug out bag and, you know, just make a plan, guys. Talk about it. Talk about it with the ones that you love. If for some reason you lose all contact, where are you going to meet? And if that place, if you can't meet, you know, you have two or three backup places. And hopefully one of those places you guys can meet up and then try to work on getting home and getting to your supplies and, you know, having a get home bag, whatever. Um, so, Boy in Blue, thanks, man. Um, I found you through Jayhawk, and, um, you know, I appreciate you having the contest. And uh, your channel, uh, great channel. You have a lot of great videos, and I look forward to a lot more from you. Um, and I thank your brother who got you into this. I was like that at one point and thought YouTube was just for looking at, you know, cats frolicking uh, around and about, and they get a million views for a cat you know knocking over a coffee cup or something you know but you can actually use YouTube as a, a really good resource um, so I'm glad that uh, you found that and you've been awakened to this uh, whole community and uh, look forward to a lot more videos thanks a lot man bye